Canva AI image generator tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with AI image generation on Canva. So let's get into it. Now, Canva is currently everyone's favorite illustrative tool, and that is for a good reason. Canva is easy to use, it's beginner friendly, and it can help you in designing a lot of different amazing things in a quick and easy fashion. Now with that perk of Canva, Canva has included more features that can help you in generating more AI based images. So instead of having to go into mid journey or having to go into night cafe, which are some great AI image generation tools, you can actually start AI image generation on Canva. Now, personally, I have used the AI image generator on Canva for a digital print and i have those prints at my wall right now and they look really good but i would say the ai image generators that are currently available are still learning so you do have to take that into account whenever you're generating images because those images sometimes if you're hoping to build hyper realistic images then it's going to be slightly more complicated other than that if you're looking for illustrations wallpapers just creative designs canvas AI image generator is a great tool so let's get started now this is just a blank canvas i have over here and let's get started with image generation so to get started with image generation, now one thing to note is that Canva's image generation is integrated into it. Now, if you have a free account, the image generation that you will be provided with will come with credits. So you have a number of credits that you can use. You can go into apps in any empty frame, go into the search apps section, and search for magic. Now, once you search for magic, you will see magic media. This is the magic media Canva AI. And once you click on magic media, you can get started with building your AI based images. Now, let's say I want a peacock digital wallpaper with a pink background and some cute floral elements. Add some birds and any cute things that would look nice in my wallpaper so now i have provided it with a prompt now this is just my personal prompt you can really create any prompt that you want and i'll show you guys a few tips on how to create prompts as well because there are different ways that you can actually improve upon your prompts you can even use ai to improve your prompt so that's really another tool that a lot of people can get started with so I am going to wait for this to be completed. So let's just wait for this to be completed. Now you guys can see it has generated quite a few different types of images. Now you guys can see this is one image and that's why I actually am using a larger canvas. So I can show all of the AI generated images to you guys side by side. Now I personally really like this one over here. This one is really nice. And then we have this one that is more of a repetitive wallpaper. Now, I don't like the coloring on this one, so this one is a hard no for me. But these three are pretty nice, but I don't like the repetitive look on that one. So these are the two images. Now, if I expand upon the image, you guys will see that the image generation quality is really good on Canva. So you can really build really large designs, even if you're looking to build something that's really big. You can easily do that on Canva. However, another thing to note is that you can specify a style. So I can click on styles over here and I can specify the type of style I want. Let's say I want this now in a dreamy style and I'll put in the same exact prompt and I'll wait for it to be generated with a dreamy style instead. So I can choose a dreamy style, I can choose a glass stain style and you can pick out a certain art style that you are fond of to generate your images. Now you will see these are the dreamy style images that are being generated right now the generation isn't complete but yeah so the generation is not complete i don't like the dreamy style that much so i'm gonna click on see all and let's go with a new style so 
I want to create maybe something different. So let's go on ahead and use one of the prompts that Canva can provide us with. You can go into Canva and you can actually ask it to create, you know, inspire you and create something. And you can just go on ahead and insert your own prompt. Now, if you want to enhance your pre-existing prompt, you can also go into chat GPT. So everyone knows how to use chat GPT and I don't have to give a breakdown of this, but what I'm going to do I'm going to ask it to create a prompt to generate an image of a hyper realistic peacock with a pink dreamy sunset with blue birds in the far distance bluebirds not blur birds bluebirds so now what this will do is that this will take my original idea and it will provide more detail now one thing to note is that i specified hyper realistic this is going to be a automatic style choice that your canva ai can make once you specify it in your prompt so now i'm going to go into canva use my chat gpt based prompt now it is not going to copy your entire prompt i think you can only add about three lines in your canva ai so make sure to keep that in mind and you can ask it to summarize it in two lines or three lines so you guys can see it's now generating the image now this is what i was talking about you guys see this image is wrong the feathers can't go from here and there and the body is all wrong there are two beaks out coming out of the peacock so these are a few different things that you're going to find errors with if you are aiming to create hyper realistic images so now if i go on ahead and ask it to create two or two models wearing holding a skincare item like this now what this will do is that it will create images but to some extent you can tell them that they are ai based images currently the ais are still developing so who knows by the time of this video the ai might be great at doing this you guys will see the image is nice but it's not hyper realistic as some people might want it you also are going to notice you guys can see the skincare products are actually floating in their hands they're not placed appropriately now if i go into this particular image so you guys can see two people are holding the same item i think this looks pretty good this model's hand is going to just disappear right behind our product so this is looking a bit off but in general in general the ai is great to generate images if you are looking for hyper realism i will definitely say that it is not going to be the best tool for you now how can you elevate your pre-existing canva designs with this well there is so much that you can do especially if you're someone that loves Loves creating presentations and loves building journals so if you are doing that already you can easily do that with the ai tools and enhance your pre-existing items so if you're building a journal you can build your own customized illustrations you can build your own logos as well and you can even start selling ai based art which is actually a really big market so if i want i am going to go into the magic ai and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how you can actually build a logo with that. So we're going to search for Magic Media, go into Magic Media, and then I'll ask it to create a logo for a brand called Durden, which sells clothes online. Now, I have just provided it with the bare minimum amount of information. If you want a specific color, if you want a specific style, if you want a specific font, you can specify all of those things to the Magic Media prompt and it will generate the logo accordingly. Now, this logo is actually really nice. It reminds me a lot of the vintage logos that you usually see, the cartoonistic logos. Now, let's say I want to create a logo for a brand called Durden, but let's say, I want this to be simple, elegant, or I'm just going to add, make it simple, elegant, minimalistic, and modern like this. So once I have provided it with more detailed instructions, let's see what type of logo it has generated. So let's wait for the new logo to complete its generation. 
So as you guys can see, it has generated some really interesting logos. We have this one over here. We also have this one. And in this way, you can really utilize the Canva AI for different purposes and improve your illustrative work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.